So welcome guys to another video. It was a long time that I didn't post anything FPS related and overall boosting FPS related into Fortnite because there was not really literally a reason for it. Because you can't really change anything that you had like in season four or five and etc. That I had like previously already shown. But now with the introducing of patch uh, V621 that came out uh just a couple days ago uh we got pretty much two things that we can change they're really, really interesting and i hope it will help you a lot because uh, lately with these new patches Fortnite has been crashing a lot by people what i hear uh dropping fps really hard just overall making problem performance problems to all Fortnite players and i know it's really frustrating so i want to help you out and i got two things to do that can really help and make it uh, really worth it so yeah let's begin and i hope it will be worth it for you to use it so what we will start about is that fortnite introduced with this new patch uh, an ability to disable grass in game and i will literally show by my examples um, how it will work I will start the game and show like um, gameplay with it and like without the comment then with the change that I want to make. So um, let's first get a game capture also set up. We'll do it now. Um, I will do it without cutting. You can just uh, skip it like for 2 seconds, 10 seconds my video. Let me just quickly do it and start fortnite i do it without any setting it's just default like everyone has at the moment starting the game and loading into it We have a black screen quickly. I know, I know. Or maybe I will even even show it. <laughs> just turn it off later when the game is already started. It's just loading. Oh, I see I have a custom resolution here. Not full screen. Let me change that. There you go. I have a stretched resolution, so you will see that it's a bit a bit stretched. It's 10, um, 1700 to 1080. But yeah, we're in the game. We will start quickly solo match. And we will drop into Tilted Towers, I guess. Test it out. I think it's the best way. Yeah, it's loading pretty far, pretty long. I will not cut it as I said, so just skip quickly 10 seconds and yeah, we'll see the results in game. We see in the top right corner my FPS at the moment. Was the recording? I know the recording is influencing my FPS, but like I will literally record also in both, both times, so it's okay. We will just will we will need a um, comparison, you know, so it's not a big deal. Let me even drop on the hill. I can just move around and we'll just make a 360 and watch around the map. 
So we landed. See a lot of players also landing. We have like 8 FPS now when we watch on Tilted. 78 as we see. We watch these trees. We have 180. 180, 170. It's the same on Greasy Grow. Watch down, we have to football field, we have 170, 160 as I see. So that's the FPS is what we have. Like we don't go down, we are even close to 200. Like, yeah, 190, 200. I will just walk to the house. Yeah, close to 200 as you see. It's literally between 200, 190. So that's that's with the uh, old settings, nothing new. You can leave out now. We'll turn on display capture now. Display capture is not working for some reason. Hmm. Like screen for a quick second. Uh, really weird. That's fine. There you go. My desktop is back. So, um, that was without really change settings. So now we will do the quick steps that I was mentioning to disable the grass. So what we need to do, you go into your folder, Windows folder. Uh, local disk C and you go in program and files um, okay mistake by me made um, it's not even the program files it's the we just go into the drive we go into um, users then you click on your name how you named your user you go into app data it's uh, it's usually hidden so also to hide the app data um, the app data thing, you need to uh, go into the tab where it's saying uh, how it looks like. You go into the you go into the settings here, and you will you will show here. There you see. So in the bottom you will see hidden hidden or, uh, hidden uh, files and um, like hidden files and you will just make it from don't show it to show it show hidden files and etc things in etc so you mark it okay and you will see app data you go then into local you find a local Fortnite game saved config Windows client and also like a quick tip also to have it like yeah to use it e easier we can literally just like go into config and drag this folder into the left bar here so you see i have already uh and quick access tab so yeah that's how you do it then you, you will do this two steps you go into scalability when you open it will be clean like nothing will be written here you copy paste this thing i will also have this in my description the um this text you copy this thing into it you click on save and also you will have a thing like yeah you cannot save it so how to also disable it you go right click on scalability you go properties and then you will uh, mark this thing where it's uh, saying only read you unmark it okay and now you can save it normally so you save it normally it's fine now we can press only read and it should be good and you go into game user settings, do the same thing, not reading, so you like it's a default without reading, so you can change stuff in it. You go scroll down into scalability groups, and you change this thing from three to zero, SG point foliage quality, and you save it, and close it. Then you go into again into properties, only read. Okay, I kept it, and okay. We done now the manipulations that were done for the grass and we close it. We are done. So what we do now, we go again into our Epic Games launcher. We also do quickly a thing that is called, not options, um, it's called normal settings. 
And in this normal settings thing, as you see, if you use my previous things, you can delete this text. It's saying no text streaming, you delete it. And it's done, it's saved. And now we can start our game and test it with the new settings. And as I said, it will act on different uh, PCs differently. Some users or some of you will get a really huge boost in FPS and it will really be smooth or like helping a lot. On another PC, it can be maybe not influenced much. And we, we will also see now on my PC how it will react and how much it will boost or not. And let's hope it will be good. So we're now going into Fortnite in a black screen. Nothing to do about it. It's loading the game. I know it's cut. Okay, now it loaded into the game. Beautiful. We have our game open. We go into again into solos. We will land on the same place, watch the FPS difference, how it looks like, and yeah, let's hope it will be a good result. People are spawning. I don't know if the weather will influence the FPS, I hope not. Because like, there's already this uh, tombstones uh, spawned area. Yeah, let's hope it will not influence it. Last game I was like having clean weather without as zombies. Now it's with zombies, but let's see. So, you're watching Tilda Towers. And you see, like, it's not like a huge difference. It's like, you see, I had 80, 70, 80. Now I have 90, 80, 90, sometimes 70. It's like, you know, it's really changing the whole time, the FPS. So, but we, you can see it's like 90, around 90, 80 plus. Okay, we will now watch uh, the same way we were watching on the trees. It's about 180, 190 as you see. We'll watch the football field. Here is like 170, 180. 10 FPS plus. And we will go now walk to the to the house. When I walk now to the house, it's like the same way it was last time but as i said like i don't know if the weather is Im influencing it go into the house and you can you can see like it's 200 plus and 15 uh, sometimes saying so for me personally as i see it's like a 10 fps difference not counting in the zombies are spawning everywhere already but you see like 200 plus, it's a lot of times 220 even. Just depends where I'm watching. 
And it's... Oh, I had even a freeze lol for a second. So yeah, it's like about the weather. I don't know if the weather is fine, if it's influencing this tombstones, the FPS. But as you see, for me it was like... A small... But like, it's a bit... It's at least a smoother feeling. A change. And we will see just the results on your PC, guys. And let me know also the feedback for sure. About it. Because that's... Like, I have really high FPS on my PC, obviously. So it's not much changing that much. Only 10 FPS, but still... On situations where I will be like and tilted or fighting where a lot building is, it will be for sure better overall. Even 100 plus when I watch on tilted, 90, 100. As you see. Okay, guys, and that's about it. That's about the test. As I said, it will be different on different PCs. Someone will notice it, someone will not notice it. But I hope overall it helped you a lot. And for sure guys, leave me feedback uh, and comments down below in the comment sections. I hope you enjoyed it. And also if you want to show your appre appreciation and, the, and also if you get really great results and you'll be happy with it. Don't forget that uh, you can also support me through the creator, su um, support a creator uh, thing in the item shop. You can put in mouse mouse uh, minus the dvs in the code section i kept it and support me through this thing in front of whenever you will buy skins will appreciate it if you do it you can also let me know in the comment section if you've done it and yeah guys that's about the video hope you enjoyed wish you also everyone good fps a smooth gaming experience and all the best see you next time bye bye